Hey guys, Ace here from SouthernTechEngineering.tk. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 8, Windows 8.1, like Windows 7, using the arrow theme, getting your classic start menu back. Because uh, I know I'm tired of the tile looking crap on here. So uh, I've made it pretty easy for us. I already made a notepad document. I'm going to have a description. And on my website, of all the links you're gonna need. So the first one you want to download, just go over and copy and paste this uh, HTML right here. So just put that in your search bar. All right. Now you want to go down, right here. Press the download button. I've already have it downloaded right here just to make it a lot easier now the next one you're gonna have is the classic shell so once again just copy and paste it and every website that I'm bringing you to they're gonna have like what you have to do to get it correct so if you have any questions if I don't show you how to do it correctly just go on the website I'm gonna link and it'll teach you everything you need to know so the classic shell.net this will get you the start menu that you want back so just press download once again already got it downloaded right here alright the next one this is gonna get you the arrow theme no not bad this is gonna get you the start menu picture because uh, when you first uh, install the classic shell it's just gonna be a shell down your left hand corner instead of uh, the windows start menu so once again come over and you download it so so I download a uh, windows 7 skin for a classic shell so you're gonna download that and this is gonna give you the steps so I advise you leave this page right here open and then uh, I'm just gonna drag it over to the other monitor guys So. Once you went through all these links right here and you downloaded all the stuff you needed to do, just go up here and we'll start installing it. So, the classic shell setup. I'm going to go through this, this procedure with you step by step so you don't miss a thing. I've watched many videos and researched this on the internet. And there's a couple of them that are getting detailed and some of them don't. But this one I want to try to be as detailed as possible. So, we're going to go to the Windows installer. So install it set it up right here press next I accept the license agreement next credit start menu folder okay location that's fine press next install so let's wait for it to install it might take a little bit longer because I have this screen recorder going on right now If you have any questions about any of this process, uh, comment on the video, comment on my website, or if none of that helps you out at all, go to these websites individually and there will be help on there, step by step, on how to do it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it gets done. Alright guys, so uh finish installing. Let's go and press finish on it. So go down here, right click, classic star menu, let's go to settings. So skin, right now it's at Windows 8. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up this zip file. Alright. Oh, 
it's on the other monitor. Alright. So, let's open it up. And you're going to need to copy this. Just press that and press control. Control. And, uh. Crap, my bad. So, go to the other website. And you're going to get a location. And I'll, I'll have the location for you. So C programs classic shell scans. All right. So once you got that now, let's go ahead and put this to the side. So remember, we're gonna copy these and drag them over here. Alright, now you've done that, let's exit out of that. And then, uh, we're gonna go over here, right click this, press settings. Now we're gonna press backup. And then you're gonna go load from XML file. Alright, now once again up here, and type in that same address they gave you before. Click on the settings right here. Press open. Alright. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, go over to scan and press back up. My bad, guys. Love from XML file. Once again, press that. So make sure you're under the skin tab. Press OK. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this around. Small icons. Show you the name. Yeah. It's OK. There you go. So, I hope that part right there helps you out. Now let's go over and let's make the arrow thing. Let's open this up. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this right here to the desktop. Now remember, if you have any problems with these, just uh, go to their website, and they're going to have the step-by-step -step for you. I'm just going to pull it up so I don't forget anything for y'all. That way, I'm going to try to be as accurate as possible for y'all so I don't have any problems. Alright, so we're going to right click right here on the arrow light icon, go down to properties. And if it has unblock on the security, then you're going to want to make sure that it's unblocked. So right now mine's unblocked, I'm going to press OK. Now, once again, you're going to need a directory file uh, URL. So, I got copy and pasted from the website. So, 
See Windows Resources Themes. So now you're in the themes of directory. Let's get this right here. Let's drag it and drop it right here. Press continue with administrative rights. Alright, now that that's uh, copied over here in your themes folder, just exit out of this, right click anywhere in your desktop, click personalize. Computer's a little laggy right now. <laughs> Trying to run all this stuff and use a screen recorder. So right here, install themes, Windows Arrow Light. It says please wait on the screen. And there you go, you should have it. So what, what I like about this, this is my first time installing it, and I can already tell it's uh, way better than the other ones that I've seen. Because usually on the other ones that you'll find out there, when you're trying to drag your uh, window, it's going to be laggy and it's going to mess up. And the reason why mine doesn't have all of these uh, effects and stuff on it is because I turned all my animations animations and uh, everything like that off. I just want it bare bones. So, if this helps you out at all, guys, go to my website, www.southerntechengineering.tk. Check us out. Rate, comment, subscribe to this video. If you have any problems whatsoever, uh, put a comment in the video. Tell me about it. Maybe I can help you. And if I can't help you, the websites of these applications can. So, I'm going to have all these links in the description and on my website. And it only took about 10 minutes to make, to do to your computer. So hopefully it helps you out. So come back again.